If you pay attention to social media, it portrays van camping as always being on a nice sunny day. According to Instagram, it's always sunsets and rainbows, but sometimes it rains and everything gets wet. Something I'm learning to deal with as winter rears its head. Look at this weather. waves aren't too bad well in this area they sort of are but there are still people out surfing I kind of wish I'd brought my wetsuit now I mean I could still go in I've got like my summer suit with me but it might be a bit coldy right let's go well at least it stopped raining anyway for those of you that don't know where this is this is Senen Cove and I came down here because it's normally quite a good place to sort of like storm watch but it's actually that stormy today, even though it's torrential rain, the wind's up, but the waves actually aren't that bad. Whew. I know what you're probably thinking, Sean, why have you got sunglasses on your head? It's because I'm a barnet, I'm in desperate need of a haircut, and uh, it kind of works like a hairband. Where I'm parked at the moment in Senen Cove, there is actually, you used to be able to camp here. Like, there were no problems whatsoever with camping here. And I was looking at Park for Night, and I was reading, I read this story about why camping's no longer permitted at this spot. And it's really sad, but I'm going to read it to you. I mean, because, you know, this place is perfect for camping. There's a toilet block there. You've got a beautiful view. Like, probably, I mean, it's beautiful even in a storm, but, you know, if it was a really sunny day, it'd be a fantastic view. But I've paid to park here for all day. It's pretty much six pounds. If you want 24 hours, it is nine pounds. This uh, comment was put on here by O'Greeny. Overnight camping was stopped two years ago because of a group of people in vans broke into the fisherman's hut to tap into the electric. Now we are all banned from overnighting. It used to be the perfect spot. And I can understand that. And this is one of the biggest things that I'm trying to like promote with this channel is that if you're going to do this sort of thing, go out on adventures and want to stay in your van overnight, as long as you're respectful, it won't ruin it for all of us. And because of that, two years ago, I'm now going to have to try and find somewhere else to stay tonight. I'm going to park here for, well, it says until midnight, but I won't be here that long. But so frustrating! But anyway, I suppose I'd better face the weather and uh, show you around Senen Cove. Always keep a pack, a Mac, or a small waterproof coat in your van. For days like today. Right. Let's go. Now the pub behind me just here is the old success. So worst case scenario, if they're doing food, I might actually have somewhere to eat tonight so I don't have to cook in the van when the rain's coming in. Tonight, do you need food tonight? Yeah. Okay, I booked the table for tonight. They do do food. Is that glimpse of sun coming out? I can see. See, now the shades make sense. So, you know, the only reason why I've booked a table for tonight is because, you know, I could I could quite happily cook in the van, but there's a chance that the weather's going to be too bad, and if I've got to have all the windows and doors shut, people get really upset with me when I cook inside the van when the windows and doors are shut. You know, because of carbon monoxide, I get it. So, I just figured, if there's a pub here offering food, then give something back to the local community. Why not? So this slight break of sun has made me want to go on a little bit of a explore. I mean, what else am I going to do here until six o'clock? Oh. 
Oh, that was a killer of a hill. But look at this view from up here. nice enough spot as any. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions from some of the new subscribers to the channel about things to do with the van and everything, so I just thought I'd answer them. I don't live in a van, I don't do this full time. I live at home with my wife in Cornwall and I pretty much just go out in my van every weekend just to get out of the house, to enjoy this beautiful county, to stay in my van, to get in the sea and just live that sort of escapism lifestyle that we all need to have every once in a while. I'm very fortunate that I have a very understanding wife that doesn't mind me leaving her for a couple of days or even just for one day. To be honest, I think that she knows full well that if I don't go out and do something, I get very annoying around the house. So I get to do things like this in locations like this. It used to be a few, a little while ago, Kate actually, Kate's my wife by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, she used to come out camping with me, you know, uh, quite a bit in the summer, not so much this time of year, but she just not, she doesn't like being cold and, you know, I haven't quite sorted out the heating problem in the van yet. So once I have, then I'm sure she'll, she'll start camping again. So the non-alcoholic beer for today is Erdinger. I've actually been uh, recommended this by one of my subscribers, so I'm gonna give it a go. Erdinger alcohol free. Now, I've been drinking Erdinger, the actual, the proper one, for, for years. I think I was first introduced to it back when I worked in a pub back in like 2004 or something. And I always liked it there, it's like a wheat beer. And uh, I've never tried the 0% one. Let's give it a go. Quite fruity. I mean, what a better place to stand and drink a non alcoholic beer. Waves are really starting to pick up now. Anyone fancy a little walk along the breakwater there? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I've just been thinking, as lovely as this is stood here, having a sip of this beer and looking at the, the clouds part and the, the blue skies come out, I've still got to find somewhere to stay tonight. I did see on Park for Night there's like a lay-by up the road, so I might just go park up there in a bit before I head down to the pub for my dinner. All right, so it's still fairly early, but I'm going to go scope out that, uh, that place where I'm going to stay for the night. Might need to get up there early, just in case there's no spaces left. All right. Okay, this car park is closed. All right, so I think there's a spot just along here at the side of the road. Seems to be a spot where people stop for walking their dogs. So the plan is, before I go down for dinner, I'm going to just make the bed, pull the curtain across, make sure everything's all ready to go. So when I get back, I can just come back, sneak back into the van, get into bed, and hopefully no one will know. That's the plan. Fingers crossed. Tell you what though, I think I'm getting pretty good at making the bed. Getting cosy. Look at it. 
Right, I think it's about time we start making our way down the pub. Look at this sunset behind me. Such a nice, lovely evening for a wander. And I thought it was gonna be like storms tonight as well. You know, this is a nice car park right on the beach. It's everywhere. Hello, we've got a table reserved at six for Sean. Brilliant, thank you. All right, so that was the other success. Anyway, on that note, it's really dark now. Um, I'm gonna attempt to head back to the van in one piece. Bye, pub. It was, it was pleasurable. So the only thing I would say is yes, walking up this hill with a full tummy after food is really difficult and and it's bonfire night as well, so there's fireworks going off everywhere. <sighs> Come on, Sean, you're fitter than this. I guess there's not really a great deal left to do other than go to bed, I guess. I now have complete thermals as well, tops and bottoms. All right, on that note, oh, this bedding's cold. It'll warm up in here in a minute, I'm not worried. So from here, I'm gonna watch a film or just YouTube and just sign off. So I'll see you in the morning. As you can see, I'm in the full bed build. I just couldn't get comfortable last night, so I just ended up pulling the full bed out. And it's raining now outside. It's a bit chilly today. It would normally be at this point where I would make myself my early morning coffee. But I'm just so fancy, I think I'm just going to go home and see my wife. My wife! <laughs> yeah. Don't leave your stickers on your windows overnight. Let me just check to make sure everything's off back there, everything's put away. Alright, and we are away. Thanks for coming along with me on this little adventure, and I'll see you next time. Cheers! Cheers.